Apple has just recently given us an update of macOS Catalina and it's probably one of the best updates so far for creatives. This video is brought to you by FreshBooks. I'm not going to go into all the features that this new update brings, but I'm gonna be setting on one which is Sidecar. For anyone that has an iPad and a Mac that can upgrade to Catalina, then you can use your iPad as a drawing tablet now with your MacBook for completely free. When I heard about this new update coming to Mac, I was very excited because one, I didn't have to pay for AstroPad anymore. And for those of you that don't know, AstroPad was basically doing the same thing. It took your iPad and made it into a graphics tablet for your Mac. So you could use Illustrator and Photoshop on your iPad from your Mac if that makes sense. Well, Apple have given us this update and they do this all the time. They take people's ideas and they roll with it and they make it better. And Apple have really done that this time. Sidecar allows you to use your iPad screen as another monitor for your MacBook or iMac completely wirelessly. And I have to admit, it works really well. It's super quick and there's not much latency and it makes me feel a bit adrift with it because I don't know how exactly the technology works. It is super quick. This also makes me think that one day, Everyone will just have a monitor and you can just put your computer onto that monitor with this technology, which is insane. But for me and other creatives alike, Sidecar isn't just a good place to put your YouTube videos whilst you're writing some documents. It's actually a really good input method for Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop and Affinity and a lot of other creative apps. Because Sidecar allows your iPad to be used as a second monitor, it also lets you use your Apple Pencil as an input device on that monitor which basically is a graphics tablet. So I've been testing out Sidecar with my iPad Pro, my MacBook Pro using Adobe Illustrator to see if it actually works well. So when you open up with the welcome screen on your Mac, you can go up to the top right and just click connect to iPad and it is super quick and easy. It changes the resolution of your screen and you've got other options such as mirroring or adding an extra display. You then start to realize how quick this is when you put a video up and you see the audio working in sync with the video, it, the technology is amazing. I then opened up Illustrator and I started playing with it. And I've got some good points and some bad points about this. The good points are that it works, that you can use Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop and probably other creative apps with your iPad as an input method on your MacBook. It works really well for anyone who likes to use the full Adobe Illustrator suite. That's like creating logos or hand lettering or the pen tool, which is what I use. You can do that now on your iPad. You could do this before on your iPad with AstroPad, which would cost you about $10 a month. I got a more premium feeling out of AstroPad because I could use the double tap or the two finger tap to undo. On Sidecar, you can't do that. And AstroPad also seemed to have a bit more of a target towards the creative community. So it knew what creatives want. You could actually create gestures that would input to your Mac when you were in AstroPad. So it was easy to undo in the way that you wanted to. Now this is where Sidecar kind of falls off a little bit for me. And I think it's only because it's in the early stages. Adobe need to get their apps in order, which is probably really difficult to do before it works to its fullest potential. One thing that I saw that was great, but doesn't work too well is the shift and alt keys on Catalina. I found that every time I tried to click it, it would remain on. And I know there's a feature where you can double tap for it to go on and off or to lock on or off, but sometimes it would just do it by itself itself and that is definitely a bug that needs to be fixed. It was slowing me down so much because it wouldn't put the anchor point placement to where I wanted it to and it would always make me draw straight lines every time I tried to you know, free draw with the brush. Other than that, that is probably the only issue I have with it. I had a lot of fun with Sidecar. It works super well and quick. It doesn't feel like there's any noticeable lag when using it and that could be down to my fast internet connection in my house but I think it would work well for anyone. So if you're someone in the Apple ecosystem with a Mac and an iPhone, but you haven't made that purchase towards an iPad yet because you do all of your work at home on your MacBook and you know your Wacom tablet. Well, now this is giving you the incentive to buy the iPad because not only can you do this graphic tablet thing at home, you can actually take your iPad wirelessly outside and use apps like Procreate, Adobe Fresco, Affinity Designer, Affinity, whatever. It gives you the ultimate freedom. Sidecar gives you, the consumer, 
more value and incentivizes you to stay in their ecosystem. We can see what Apple are doing. It's very clever and I like it because I am in their ecosystem, but they are basically trying to give people value for being in the family. So when you have a MacBook and an iPad, you can use your iPad as a second monitor. If you wanted to take an image from your iPad, you can airdrop it into the MacBook. You can answer calls from your MacBook, your iPad, your iPhone, your whatever. It's pretty incredible what you can do when you're in the Apple system. And not only that, I think it's quenching the thirst of people who really want Adobe Illustrator on their iPad. Because if I'm in my house, I could just have my MacBook open in here and use my MacBook on my iPad with a touch display in another room in the house. This is a really quick and easy way for Apple to get people into getting an iPad just because of the input method. So that's my sort of review, first impression slash thoughts on Sidecar. I would love to hear yours down below. I just wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, FreshBooks. If you're a creative, which most likely you will be, and you're watching this video, then you will have to submit invoices and gather up expenses. And I know it's really difficult sometimes and just mind numbing to do your invoicing and expenses. I've experienced it before, but FreshBooks makes it so much easier for you to send invoices, gather up expenses, and it actually lets you get paid faster. It makes it easier for the client to pay you as well and for you to pay other people. So guys, if you want to try FreshBooks out for yourself, go to the link down below. There's 30 days completely free and I'd love it if you were to try it out, even if it was just for fun. Make sure you enter my name when it asks you where you heard about them from, which is Will Patterson, and I'll be forever indebted to you. If you liked the video, press the like button. If you didn't like the video, press the dislike button twice. Make sure you press that red subscribe button down below. Generosity makes you a happier person, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you soon. Goodbye.